Well, hello and uh, good morning on this beautiful Wednesday in our uh, Father's Great World. Uh, Pastor Jeremy coming to be able to share with my Desert Foothills family the devotion for the day. Uh, just a reminder, uh, since it is Wednesday, Pastor Mark and I are doing that Bible study in the book of Acts. Uh, tonight we will look at chapter 8. A wonderful chapter for us as Christians to look at both uh, some of the history of the early church, but also to get a, a good bearing for where we are going as a church today, uh, for what God has called each and every one of us to be able to do for his mission. With that, let's jump into our devotion for the day. Uh, I'm going to look at John chapter 12. Uh, we're going to begin at verse 23 today. Jesus replied, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. Anyone who loves their life will lose it, while anyone who hates their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, my servant also will be. My Father will honor the one who serves me. Now my soul is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it was for this very reason I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven, I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd that was there and heard it said it had thundered. Others said an angel had spoken to him. Jesus said, this voice was for your benefit, not mine. A few years ago, we were on a road trip as a family and we got to a point in the journey where we needed to pull over and take a moment to be able to get something to eat and just stretch our legs. Uh, we were walking on the way in. It's just a point kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And there was a gentleman sitting off to the side where the driveway was coming into the parking lot of a just simple fast food restaurant. And he was holding a sign, uh, one that you've probably seen many times, a simple piece of tattered cardboard with some black sharpie written on it uh, that said hungry need food uh, my daughter had seen him with a little sign and she squeezed my hand on the way in and said dad can we can we buy that guy lunch i said sure let's let's get him some lunch we went inside and we ordered the food and we got a meal a little bag together for him and I gave it to her and I said, why don't you take it to him? It was, it was your idea. Uh, I stood at a comfortable distance watching the interaction. She ran over to the man and they talked for just a brief moment. Uh, she turned around and he openly grabbed the food and began to eat immediately. And she ran back to me and she said, dad, dad. And I said, yeah, what's, what's going on? And she said, I gave him the food and he told me, God bless you. She was so surprised because she thought in her moment of running over there that she was giving the blessing unto him. And she in turn received this thank you, received this blessing from him. Uh, I didn't hear his voice. I don't know what it sounded like, but I know that it had a great effect on my daughter that day is she was able to serve one of God's children that for one reason or another, unlikely for us to be able to know and definitely not for us to be able to judge, uh, he needed something to be able to eat. I wonder what the voice of God sounded like for the people that day when it came from heaven in this thunderous roar or a voice like an angel that said unto Jesus that he would be glorified. <clears throat> you know, in this moment, Jesus is speaking about his death. When he talks about that kernel of uh, corn that has to fall to the ground, that it cannot live, that it has to die to be able to produce many, many more. He forecasts and foreshadows his own death that he can't say to his father in this moment and you know take me out of here no this is for the hour that I have come Jesus said and so he fulfills this plan 
that God has for his life, the reason that he came to this earth. You know, there's a reason that we have come to this earth and been blessed to be here too, to be able to be uh, these disciples of the Lord, to be able to share this great message with all those that we see around us, even with complete strangers, to be able to go and to feed them, not just physically, but with the word of God, to be able to feed them with our Lord's love, to be able to share with them this great blessing that we have in Jesus, so that one day we will hear those great words, <clears throat> that God will tell us, you know, you are our glorified. Praise be to you for how you serve me. Uh, we hear within the scriptures, you know, Lord, when did we feed you or see you hungry and we gave you something to eat? And he tells us, you know, whenever you did this for the least of these, my brothers, you did for me. Who are the least of these that are gathered around us today? Those that we can reach out and serve the purpose for which we were created, to be those disciples of the Lord. They're all around us uh, every day. Uh, it's that waitress that you see every Saturday morning because you go and eat breakfast at the same place. Uh, it's that cashier that you see maybe even once a month that simply needs maybe a little bit of a God bless you or what can I pray for you today. Uh, maybe it's somebody within our own family or a neighbor that we simply need to take time to be able to reach out to. Who is that? Because God has called you to that task today. And so answer his calling. Be that great church that we can be in the book of Acts and also in our lives today because of what God has given to us. His great and wonderful spirit, his mission, and his wonderful blessing and promise through Jesus Christ our Lord. Accept this challenge with me today and every day as we are able to serve as his children and as his people. In Jesus' name, blessings to you today.